social skills is also very important. Social skills are also very important. If you cannot really mix with people uh, without getting rid of your biases or your own oddities, uh, or your own personality ticks, then you become almost um, uh, a nuisance in a company. A person who is social understands how much to give and how much to take. How much to respect, who to respect and who not to show any particular preference for. If you do not show somebody respect, doesn't mean that you have to show disrespect. Remember, these binaries don't apply in the case of skills. If somebody cannot read, is not automatically illiterate. You have to understand that person has been denied the right to read. So judgment like these can be very negative. So your social skills begin from your family. And your family is the best trainer of social skills. But your school also is very important. The reason many of our youngsters, young people have become derailed, taken to drugs, to violence, to um, pornography, and many other social evils is because they lack the social skills. The families have not given them the moral codes, the moral upbringing, and not the right social skills, which make a person acceptable and attractive to others. A person is acceptable because of that person's personality. Personality should never be the sum total of your offensiveness. Personality should be the sum total of your likability, your understanding of your own self, your self-respect, as well as respect for the other. The social skills make you a good mover in a crowd. You can go through life like a hot knife to butter if you have the right social skills. The last two things teachers need, of course, is research skills. So English graduates who join teaching will need research skills. They will need pedagogical skills. And pedagogy, once again, is not something which is fixed. Pedagogy improves every year. And Saidur, I'm so happy to share the same platform with, with me, had been writing. I have, I keep track of his research articles. He also has addressed this particular problem of pedagogy. Classroom teaching is not simply delivering a lecture, but making it understandable to everyone around. So these skills are not simply acquired. They should be grown within a system. And you are the ones who can do that. If you have the right pedagogical skills, then you can make your students understand everything and make them interested participants in the fuller discourse which your institutions carries out. If you are going into, for example, media, you must have a very good understanding of what is media. If you are going to the corporate world, you must understand the market. You must understand corporate Darwinism. Or you the competition that corporate world is gives. To NGO, you must be innovative. You must be willing to research in the field, something called action research. You must be willing to share people's case studies, their life stories. You must be receptive. If you're owning up your own business, all the skills come together. You must have the right technology or knowledge of technology. You must have the right business skills within you. You must have the best managerial capacities, the, the most innovative and productive abilities. They all converge when you are owning up your business. Now, one of my students uh, opened up an online business selling birthday cakes. I'll not name the student because she is already overburdened. And in about five months' time, she was making money. Now, what made her going to birthday cakes. Now she produces cakes, makes cakes for all occasions. Because she was an innovative designer. And by innovative design techniques applied to cake making, and you can pick up cake making, baking abilities any day. I, I, I also can bake cakes. 
So if I can bake a good cake, which my son always likes, then you can always think anyone can do that. So this student combined all these, then she had the right marketing techniques. And I'm sure uh, Professor Meena would be very happy with the student because without reading any of the management or accounting subjects, she self-taught herself all these management and accounting techniques. So self-teaching ability is another ability that you must have. If you're working, for example, in service and hospitality, you must have all these social skills. You can get together. The last thing that I tell you before I take on the questions is that skills, once again, are changeable. You must be open to change. You must not resist change. A second thing that you must have is do not think you have sufficient skills. Begin by understanding that you do not have all the skills. If you do not have the thirst for searching for something new, you will get stuck in the same place for all along. But remember, a man is not a tree. A woman is not a tree. But a tree is a beautiful thing. I'm not uh, saying that trees are bad, but trees are not mobile. Human beings have mobility. And you must use your mobility very well. A third thing you must not do in any capacity is impose your ideas, ideologies, biases on somebody else. Respect difference, respect diversity, respect multiplicity, respect plurality. Otherwise, you will be identified as somebody who is a very narrow-minded person. If you have a certain dress code that you follow, fine. But don't expect everyone to follow the same dress code. 